night is Christmas Eve and we have to open our Christmas Eve pajamas so that's what we're gonna do right now when I'm being quiet because Steven doesn't know about them so let's go do that now. No, open it up. Open it up. Go ahead, you started you it. it. I will aim to it. You're a big boy. Good job. <clears throat> like, you specifically have to open this tonight because it's not gonna work tomorrow. You are nothing but a lovely husband and you're about to have a lovely family. What's that? <laughs> yeah, you ripped it. What's inside? What is it? Get it. You do it. I think it's stuck. <laughs> you get it. Pull it out. Rip. <laughs> Pull it out of there, Aid. Get this. Grab it. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, you wanna open it? You wanna open it for daddy? It's daddy's present. Can you open it? Go ahead. Open it, rip it. He's so careful about it. At least you're opening presents this year. But what is this? Pajamas. What is that? Pajamas. Pajamas. Not pajamas. <laughs> Mama. The other one. Are you trying to mine. Get twins? Triplets. You. T <laughs> we have to take a picture. I got extra large, and I don't know if I should wear the extra large or if you should, because mine are a large, and I don't know like how long the legs are gonna be. Oh, yeah, you know me. My legs are gonna be. <laughs> so I got a large and an extra large, and whoever it fits better can wear it. So I'm using my like little digital camera today instead of my phone because I don't think I'm gonna have enough room on my phone. I haven't deleted last week's vlog off of there yet. So I don't know if you can see well or not because the lighting ain't that great right now. <laughs> but today is Christmas morning. We just opened presents. I didn't film any of that because I didn't want to bother having the camera out while we're having family time, you know? So I just started doing my makeup because I gotta go to my grandma's. We have to go to my grandma's. I don't know if Steven's coming or not because his grandma's not doing good today, so this is great. Like, I don't even get to spend Christmas with him, but um, I used my Natasha Denona, the green-brown palette, because I wanted to use some of the greens that are in there, so I don't know how well you can see, but I haven't done my eyeliner or any face makeup yet, but that's my super glittery gold on the lid with green and dark green so that's that um, but I will check in again later look at can we appreciate this sweater that is like the softest thing ever but it's super duper thick and I'm already sweating I'm gonna have to change I got it from Walmart it was only 10 bucks it's got Christmas lights all over it super comfy but it's super hot right now <laughs> I can't see how much of me you can see because I've got the camera, but me and Aiden are going to my grandma's because his grandma doesn't want to go to her daughter's house, even though she called and was trying to get her to come anyway, so he doesn't want to leave her alone because she's having a bad day and he doesn't want her to fall, which I understand, but like his friggin' family knows that we go to my grandmother's house every Christmas, so I don't understand why someone can't come and just spend Christmas with her, you know? I would want to take her to my grandma's house, but the dogs jump too much and they'd end up knocking her over. Uh, so, once again, this entire situation, this living situation that I'm in, has ruined Christmas now. Just like it's ruined the almost the entire year for me. So, 
I'm pissed. I'm in a bad mood. I'm about to leave to go to my grandma's. I think I have everything in the back. I think we have all the presents aid. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I don't know how long I'm going to stay there. I'm not probably not going to film much. I'm sorry this Christmas vlog is like not happy-go-lucky jolly <laughs> like I, I wanted it to be, but I'm just aggravated now. I'm pissed, so, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it for now. I will probably check in later on, film the puppies or something, but for now, what time is it? It's only 11 o'clock, so... I'm hoping not to stay there until it's dark out because I can't see good driving at night. I have horrible night vision, so I don't know. I'm just going to go now. I'm bummed Steven's not coming with us. <sighs> I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. All the stuff you get for oh, Christmas so and you're cool. sitting here drawing the front door. <laughs> Oh. You draw my camera. What? You draw. Go ahead, you draw it. Oval. An oval. You just dropped one of your crayons. I have a rectangle. <laughs> and a rectangle. And it makes Nani's front door. Don't draw. <laughs> paper. Look at his little vest. Look at your vest. I'm in a circle. Circle? <laughs> Are you in your sweet troll's chair? <laughs> Look, let me get a picture of it. Lean forward. It's branch. It's branch. It's branch chair. You can sit back down. Sit back down in your chair. There you go. Is it comfy? You're probably going to fit in that for like six months and that's it. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Stop what? It matches your new bed set. I'm going to have an uh, entire room of trolls. <laughs> Her pig. Oh, that was your Izzy loves her pig. You like that pig, don't you? She seems to favor that Here, let me one. see it. Back up, I'm going to take a picture. She seems to favor that one. Let me see. <laughs> it's already all gross. It was nice and soft. <laughs> she says it's nice, I like it. Yeah, because it's a giant squeaker. Yeah. Your favoritest thing. Oh, you're too busy sniffing your butt. I like that. Huh? <laughs> That's quite all right, because you've got plenty of them. Is that right? yeah. yeah, Zelda's sitting under the tree yeah. waiting for more trees. Yeah, she's trying to get at her tree. She's treats, such a pig. I was she's a pig. She's she, worse she, than she you. She's all right. She doesn't bother stuff like that. <laughs> that one there, she's terrible. <laughs> the giant squeaker inside you like is. That, huh? I'm surprised she hasn't tried to rip that yeah, out yet. She'll probably figure it out. I'll let you know if she does. <laughs> yeah. It's a giant squeaker. You it's like, like a that, disc. Don't you? I see it. It's nice. That's very, very nice. I like it very much. Did you show Grandpa? Huh? She usually shows them. I'm kind of ticked that you like that one better than the expensive friggin' the one from Bark Shop. <laughs> this one. Yeah, I know it. Well, she probably played with that. This thing was like it was eleven bucks, and then with shipping, it was fifteen something That's for a friggin' yeah. Nana's leftover Sammy. Yeah, Look she it. Play with it. She, she's got Please play with this and humor me. <laughs> On there that. you go. <laughs> you like that too, huh? Is good? <laughs> non stop tail wags. Now the tree looks absolutely bare. All those gifts and. This is probably going to be really dark right now because I don't have the light on, but this week it just keeps getting better and better. Um. Our shower had been leaking for a few days and like coming out under the door so now like the rug is soaking wet. Um, I had bought a, uh, Aiden, Stephen a uh, shower head 
a new shower head for Christmas because we needed a new one and I found a Darth Vader one which it matches all the other Star Wars crap that's in our bathroom so he went to put it on the other night and the entire uh, I don't know the specific name for it but the pipe that comes out of the wall that holds on to the shower head it was so old it snapped it snapped off inside the wall and broke like not to the point where the water sprays out I guess it broke off before the water shut off which is a good thing but now we have no shower down here let me show you what it looks like right now that is what the sh where the shower head is supposed to be awesome right friggin awesome just amazingly awesome that's exactly what I wanted <laughs> Anyway, he thinks that he can fix that without having to, like, take the wall apart, which is what he originally thought he was going to have to do. I think I was just covering the microphone. I'm sorry. Um, and now I'm waiting for... My friend is supposed to come over with her kids so we can exchange our gifts and everything, and now I have, like, a stained rug over there, and uh, I just... I kind of don't want to do it today, but <laughs> we have to, like get it over with and everything so I haven't really had a chance to vlog since Christmas Day today is Wednesday so two days after Christmas um, I'm gonna I'll have like a what I get for Christmas video I know everybody likes to see those every year um, I don't there's probably a nurse came yesterday the nurse that usually comes I don't know if anyone's coming today it's already like 10 o'clock what time is it it's 9 40 and nobody's called yet so I'm not sure they usually call around 9 o'clock and nobody's called yet so I don't know I'm hoping no one comes otherwise they're gonna come when my friends here but I'm just doing that today I'm so behind on orders because for some reason that Hamilton palette is selling like crazy. I don't know if somebody posted it in like a gift guide or something. I tried to look and I can't find anything anywhere, but it's like every time I'll post like 10 of them and then they sell out and then now my only issue is I ran out of label paper, the label paper that I use and I need to make the labels for the front and the backs of the palettes and it's supposed to come today. So that's what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day after she leaves. Um is making putting the palettes together but I don't really have much else to talk about I'm just <laughs> it's like everything that can possibly go wrong is going wrong I got my period a third time I have no idea what's going on with me now so now I've got to go to the doctor because this is worrying me <sighs> um, to get it three times in one month like remember I was late I thought I was pregnant I got it for like the normal amount of time that I get it, it stopped for four days, I got it again, it stopped for four days, and then I got it again, and now it just stopped again, so I don't, that's just worrying me, because like, of course I did what you're not supposed to do, and I googled it, and there's like, the two main things that it could be, is early menopause, which apparently starts at age 30, I was not, a, it can start at age 30, I was not aware of that, but that would help explain why it's so hard for me to get pregnant. Um, and the other thing was the poly polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is, I suspect, I suspected that for a while after I had Aiden. Um, before I had him, when I was still pregnant with him, they told me I had a cyst on my ovary. But then I guess it went away. And I know it's not just getting cysts on your ovaries, but like after I had him and my hormones and everything changed, like, I don't know, I just started getting the symptoms of that, like the, the hair growing under your chin, which I can't friggin' stand. I never had that before. Um, just, I don't know. It's Now I'm all worried about what's going on because I've never... It wouldn't be as worrisome to me if I was used to having irregular periods and stuff, but I've always been like clockwork, so for me to all of a sudden have 
oh, you're going to get your period three times in one month, you know? <laughs> and I'm, I'm sick of buying tampons and uh, panty liners and everything. I've bought so much of them th this month because it's like constant. I feel like I've had it the entire month of December, put it that way, because it only stopped for a couple of days at a time. So as soon as, like, New Year's is over and everything, I've got to find a gynecologist because I haven't been since like a year after I had Aiden, which sounds bad to not go in four years, but I <laughs> I hate going to the doctor so much. Any kind of doctor. Um, the last time I actually went to a doctor doctor was in June when I had the, the bronchitis and everything, so <clears throat> I'm going to shut up now and then I will probably check in later tonight or tomorrow, whatever. <laughs> I don't have much filmed for this week, but I didn't think I had much filmed for last week, and then I went and edited it, and it was like the longest one yet. I think it was from the uh, driving around looking at Christmas lights that made it really long, so I'm trying to make this one shorter. <laughs> Can you see this? It's five degrees. <laughs> I prefer it be this to like 90 degree weather. I like cold much better. Oops. I've had the car on for like five minutes though before we even came outside and it hasn't warmed up at all. Um, what is today? Today's Thursday. I didn't really record much this week, although I say that all the time and then it turns out to be a 20 something minute video. Um, do I have my MP3 player with me? Oh, I hope I do. Aiden and I are off to Walmart because we're out of bread and we need a few other things. So I just have a tiny list. Um, I need to get packing tape too because I didn't order any like an idiot. Um, so yesterday my friend came and the physical therapist came. I didn't know she was coming, but what else is new? She came at like 11, and then the occupational therapist came when my friend was here, which was annoying. <laughs> like, I have company and you keep calling me up there to ask me questions. But, um, I guess they both, I'm not really sure what's going on. Both of them didn't like her, um, her blood pressure yesterday or the fact that she's got like this it sounds like a wet cough like she's not sick but because of like the the interstitial lung disease is what it's called um, it sounds like a wet cough but she's not coughing anything up and she's had it for a couple days and I guess they didn't like that so I'm thinking because her primary care doctor's office called last night at like 515 or something like that and said we need you we need to see you tomorrow at 2 20 p.m. like you don't just do that I can't stand that doctors don't pay attention to people's situations first of all because they do that to my grandpa too my grandpa is paralyzed he had a stroke like 17 years ago and it's hard as hell to get him to the doctor's office it's hard as hell to get him to the doctor's office to even get him out of the house and with her the stairs are her downfall so like I've said before it's a split level house which I hate and you have to go downstairs to go out upstairs to go in so uh, they sprung that on us last night and she tells me call them back and cancel it I was like I'm not doing that because I'm not gonna get in an argument with them they obviously want to see you for some reason like right away because she has an appointment with them next next Wednesday so she didn't even bother trying to call her daughter to see if she can take her today hi, hi Ian <laughs> she didn't even bother trying to call her she was just like she's not gonna be able to take me tomorrow so when Steven came home I told him the situation because I'm thinking that either the occupational therapist or the physical therapist talked to the main nurse and the nurse was concerned about it too and probably called her primary care doctor so that's why they want to see her today but Stephen told her call them this morning 
ask them what is so urgent that they want to see you today instead of next week because you have an appointment next week and just find out what's going on and tell them you don't have a ride for today. So I'm not taking her to the doctor's office with him running around and probably going to get sick. Like, I can't stand doctor's offices anyway, <laughs> so I don't want to be in there for like an hour with him. Um, it's always, they always friggin' make it between like 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock like any other time when Aiden's in school and I have to pick Hi. him up or something. Hi. If they would make it for like 11 in the morning, fine. I can take her and not have to worry about him. But I mean, this is Christmas vacation anyway, so he's going to be with me all week. <sighs> and quite honestly, I do enough already with this whole situation, so I don't think I should have to be the one that has to take her to her doctor's appointments. Hi. Hi. I love you. Did you have a good Christmas? Tell everybody I had a good Christmas. No? <laughs> He's a goof, but we're gonna go do that now, get it over with, because the occupational therapist is coming again today at 11. <sighs> Maybe I can ask her, like, did somebody call her primary care doctor yesterday and try to set up an appointment because she can't get there today? <laughs> so, I'll figure that out, I guess. I don't know. But I will talk to you guys later on. Actually, I don't have anything to do tomorrow, which is Friday, so I don't think I'm going to have much else to film this week. So I can probably shut it off now. I'm hoping that... Hi. It's only 8.30 right now, so I'm hoping Walmart's not super busy, because I know the week after Christmas is usually crazy. So I'm going to get going now so I can get there and out as fast as possible. I'm not doing all the grocery shopping. I'm just getting, like I did last week, getting the stuff I can't get from Peapod at Walmart, and then I'm ordering the groceries from Peapod and having them sent either Saturday or Sunday, so, um, this week's vlog was probably kind of boring, I'm sorry, it was Christmas, it should have been more exciting, but you saw everything that went down and I was just aggravated on Christmas Day, so, hi! Maybe next week will be better, but I will talk to you guys later on. Actually, <laughs> I'm sorry I keep doing that. Um, we're not really doing anything for New Year's either, but that'll be next week's vlog anyway, so. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this week. Hi. Hi. You're going to say bye now. Say bye-bye. 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 <laughs>